I wouldn't want to get in a fight with this guy. What's up lady machines and gentle machines, boys and girls, the people that understand that you can have fun no matter what you do. Work, play, especially play, and we all know how to stay entertained, especially when we go to YouTube and type in 3D machines and find Crush, 3D machines, the snow bike, and just the warehouse in general. Today I want to work on the rock rails of this thing. I want to see what's in the way, what's feasible, what will work, what won't work. So right here we have our, our frame. It's behind this plastic. You can see a little bit of it. Uh, but this this plastic is in the way. I want to weld something right here, so we're gonna somehow have to. Best to ever do it. <laughs> I saw smoke, so I started looking around to see who's having a spring fire. But then I remembered a Cummins went through here, and it was hit. <laughs> Anyways, Crush's brakes are looking good. Um, it's apparent that the rock rails are like the most important or the most obvious thing that I can see that everybody at the race has had. So uh, I'm going to go get some material right now. We'll start on that. First stop was a failure. I'm gonna call these other people and see if they have anything in stock. Hi, I was wondering if you guys had any like one and three quarter inch uh, round tubing in stock. Um, let me check with you in a moment. Can I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a one and three quarter inch uh, round tubing. Okay, let me put that on hold and see what I got. Anything else you need? Um, no, that's it. Okay, give me a second. Thank you. The music is on point. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it now. To dial by name, press pound one. For the directory listing, press pound two. To listen to these choices again, press star. Yep, to someone wrong. <laughs> Freaking helicopter? This guy's got a helicopter. Where do I sign up to get a helicopter? I have no idea why Karma's letting this just happen, but it's happening. We found one and seven eighths. I was looking for one and three quarters. Right in the middle of two inch and one and three quarters. We're in business. Gotta let this guy go by. Japers. Go by real quick, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Thinking about starting way up there, coming back over here, and then somehow connecting to this mount over here. And then just like every vehicle, you have one side and you have the other. So here's one of my pieces of material. There's a second piece right there. However, there is one thing that I'm dreading. Not the fact of doing it, the fact that if I tear it apart, I have to put it back together because Jason wants to go for a ride. Jason, you deserve a ride, that's why uh, I will take you for a ride. However, for everybody else, I'd probably say, nah, we're gonna first build the rock rails and then we'll go ahead and go for a ride.
got the first piece on crush. I have the second piece cut as well. We're learning a lot here. Now, I don't wanna weld these completely on right now for two reasons. One, because we're gonna ride it tomorrow and the paint wouldn't cure. But two, I wanna powder coat them. So we first had Jake up here. Now we have his accomplice, Seth. He's been helping me with grinding and helping me with the rest of the fabrication on these rock rails here. You can see we have this one completely done. We have the driver's side done first, of course, because that's where I'm going to be sitting. Seth, are you going to be sitting passenger? Yeah, I, I, I uh, volunteered. He's, vo he's volunteered to be my, my first victim. I mean passenger, for now. He's going to kill me for the views. <laughs> It's all for the views, boys and girls. Seth's gonna. Don't, don't fuck me up too bad for the uh, race. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So I have I have this joint tacked here. I have this I have this joint tacked here. I'm gonna rip this off and then finalize all these welds. And then, like I said, I'll get this whole thing powder coated. We just have to make two more cuts, I believe, and then some more welding. Rip them off, and they should be done. Rack rails completed. Not just yet, but hopefully very soon. Now we're getting ready to take them off. Uh, Whoa. Gonna need the grinder. Got it. Rock rail passenger. <laughs> See that, folks? That's that's the proper way to unplug a cord over there. That's how I do it at my house, though. I, kick, rip, I just, kicked it. Just rip that. Sh I tried to kick this way, thinking that if I held onto this one, that that one would come off. Vice versa. The one that I didn't want. See that? Sounds like my relationship status. Get in the shot. Driver side rock rail. I like what shape it makes. Machine! When your rock rails spell out your logo, you're doing something right. I just finished welding everything. Seth's grinding in the dock. Basically prepping for powder coating. My truck's running right now. We're gonna go grab something to eat and then we're gonna come back and then change Seth's oil. Sorry, Dalton, but I have to stop you there. I have to thank these fine ladies and gentlemen for supporting the world's soon to be most famous YXZ. We have Jamie P, Dalton S, I like that name, Alisa S or Alicia S, Dominic P, James K, Christopher S, High quality adhesive. Mark M, Evan T, Stephen W. Not only do I appreciate your support, but Crush does as well. And I'm sure a lot of the machines and the machine freaks. The truck won't fit in here. We'll probably shut the door like on its bed or something. Stay semi-warm, have a semi-clean, not snowy surface. And it can change his oil. That's what the warehouse is for. He's gonna change that. We're getting close to curfew time. We're trying to be respectable and keep the noise level down so we don't get the jams going. We don't have hammers pounding. We gotta change this though because his truck's a thousand miles overdue. So we're making it happen here. I'm gonna open up the hood. How do you open up the hood? What? Did it say you open up the hood? Now your blinker fluid appears to be a slightly low. I already replaced that blinker fluid. That blinker was out in the back. Speaking of Chevy trucks, I did end up getting the Duramax done even though I had to do my shopping like this when the power was out. This is how we have to shop in town right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> like the whole store doesn't have lights. He's showing me what I need with a flashlight. So funny. Jason and I might go for a ride tomorrow. I don't know, the snow is kind of crappy. It's like really, really hard. So it's hard to get through. It's not like white powder where you can just sail through it. So we'll, we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you like what we do here, support the channel, hit the like button. And if you got nothing in the piggy bank, go ahead and get some machine merch. Until next time, 3D Machines out.